the top 5 traditional beauty practices in India. India has an incredibly rich cultural and historical heritage. The traditional beauty practices that have been practiced for generations are an intriguing aspect of this culture. Natural beauty treatments, ranging from herbal remedies to turmeric facials, have long been a part of Indian culture. We explore the five most common traditional beauty practices in India. Number 1. Multani Mitti Multani Mitti is an ancient Indian beauty treatment that has been practiced for hundreds of years. It is a clay powder with numerous skin benefits. Multani Mitti is especially useful in the summer because it removes tanning, leaving your skin looking fresh and vibrant. The ability of Multani Mitti to remove toxins and dirt from the skin pores is well known. When used as a face pack, it acts as a gentle exfoliant and deep cleanser, leaving the skin smooth and hydrated. It also helps to balance the oil production of the skin, making it an excellent choice for those with oily or acne-prone skin. It also aids in the lightening of blemishes and the evenness of skin tone. Simply combine Multani Mitti, honey, and lemon juice to make a thick paste for oily skin. Apply it to your face and leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes before rinsing with cold or normal water. For best results, repeat this process twice a week. You can also make a thick paste of Multani Mitti, rose water, and white turmeric powder for acne-prone skin. Allow it to dry completely before rinsing with water. You can mix Multani Mitti with coconut water, papaya, and milk to cool the skin and leave the paste on your skin until it dries. Once dry, thoroughly rinse with cold water. Number 2. Saffron Saffron has been used for centuries for its health and beauty benefits and is an important part of traditional Indian beauty practices. Saffron contains natural antioxidants that can help prevent free radical damage and accelerate cell growth. As a result, it may aid in skin tanning. The use of saffron paste on a regular basis can help lighten scars and dark spots. You can make a tanning and pigmentation paste by grinding some saffron strands with lemon juice and honey. After that, apply the paste to your face and leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes before rinsing it off. For clear and glowing skin, make saffron essential oil by combining it with carrier oils such as coconut oil or almond oil. Make a thick paste with 2 to 3 strands of saffron, 1 tablespoon almond milk, honey, and almond or shea butter to treat wrinkles. In an upward motion, apply it to your face. Number 3. Neem Leaves Neem leaves have been used in traditional Indian beauty practices for centuries and are still widely used today. Because neem leaves are antiseptic and kill bacteria, for blemishes and pigmentation, Combine 1 tablespoon fresh neem paste or powder with 1 tablespoon fresh aloe vera gel. Then, in a bowl, combine the ingredients and apply the paste to the skin. Allow it to dry for 15 minutes before washing your face with cold water and massaging your skin. As a face wash or toner, boiling the neem leaves in water produces a solution that can be used as a face wash, body wash, or toner. For acne and pimples, boil equal parts neem leaves and orange peel in water until soft. Strain the residual water and finely grind the boiled neem leaves and orange peel to make a toner. Apply a little honey and lemon juice to this paste. Number 4. Hena Hena is one of India's most popular traditional beauty practices. For centuries, it has been used to color hair, skin, and nails. Henna is used to treat both hair and skin. It is applied to the roots of the hair as a paste and left to dry completely. This can promote hair growth, thicken the strands, and give the hair a natural color. Henna is an incredibly effective and all-natural beauty product, no matter how you use it. Soak henna powder in an iron skillet with tea or coffee water for mehendi or a temporary tattoo. Then squeeze in some lemon juice and leave it on overnight. The following day, 
Apply this space to the area of your body where you want to get a tattoo and leave it on for 1 to 2 hours depending on how intense you want the color to be. Once dry, brush it off or rinse thoroughly with cold water, then apply mustard oil or waistline for long lasting color. Mix henna powder with fenugreek seed powder, amla powder, curry leaf powder, castor oil, or coconut oil to promote hair growth. Make a thick paste of all of the ingredients and apply it to your hair's roots and length. Cover your head for an hour with an old t-shirt or a shower cap. Rinse it off with warm water and an organic shampoo, such as Shikakai or Rita, twice a week for best results. Mix 3 spoons of neutral henna powder with 1 spoon of honey, mashed banana, sandalwood powder, and almond oil into a thick paste and apply to your face and neck as a face pack for glow and dryness. Allow only 3 to 5 minutes before washing with water. Number 5. Kajal Kajal is one of the most popular traditional ways to look beautiful in India, particularly among women. Kajal has been used for centuries to enhance the appearance of the eyes, making them appear larger and brighter. It shields the eyes from dirt and dust, moisturizes them, and even cools them down. When used on a regular basis, kajal can help to darken and thicken your lashes. Homemade kajal is always preferable because it can heal your eyes, as opposed to store-bought kajal, which can harm them. For ghee kajal, put a cotton wick in a clay diya or lamp and fill it with ghee. Light the diya and place an inverted plate on top of it. For camphor kajal, place the camphor in a clay diya and light it with a matchbox. You'll notice a black film under the inverted plate after a few minutes, collect as much as you want. Later, scrape the black soot into a container and add ghee. Your ghee kajal is ready. For sandalwood kajal, mix sandalwood powder with a few drops of water to make a paste. To begin, soak a small piece of muslin cloth in sandalwood paste and allow it to air dry. Make a wick out of the dried muslin cloth and place it in the diya. Add ghee to the diya, light it, and place a plate on top. Allow it to burn completely before collecting the soot with a fork or spoon and transferring it to a container. With the addition of some ghee to the container, the sandalwood kajal is ready to use. Follow these practices to improve your appearance without harming your body.